Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to use Plasticity's imprint feature to create really cool extrudes on a surface. If you're interested in learning Plasticity quickly, be sure to check out my Plasticity course on Udemy where you learn a bunch of cool stuff. I just had a new section on the Cyborg Ninja, so be sure to check that out. Link is in the description. I'll go ahead and press Shift A, hover over the face, hold Shift, and we'll just create some sort of a shape right here. And we'll close it. All right, we can now select this, press F, I, M, and then uh, imprint, hotkey, shift, I. All right, so we will select the target body, we'll select the curves. As you can see, it's now being imprinted. We have two methods, normal, which I find does not give us good results, and vector, which kind of projects it right here. So you can choose which one you want. I'll go ahead and go with the default vector, all right? You can also change the direction right here. Wiggle around a little bit. All right, now click on OK or simply right click to confirm that. You can now let's say delete this pressing X or kind of move it a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and press uh, GG. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of rotate it as well. So RR. All right. We can uh, imprint it here as well. I'll select this, shift I, select that, right click. So just like that guys, we can easily imprint various shapes on there. I can now select this and we can extrude. Have a positive extrusion and negative as well. So just like that guys, we can get really cool extrusions happening. Uh, it's important to understand and to not confuse imprint with this other tool right here, which is to project the curve onto curved surface. So if we use this tool, and right click, you can see what it does is it doesn't imprint it. Rather, it simply projects it onto here. So now you can see how it matches this curve to the surface. I'm going to control Z that imprint is actually a bit different. What imprint actually does is it actually makes this a part of it. So unlike previously, where you could just move this, you can see this is actually a part of the mesh right here. Now, what if you want to delete this? Well, if I go into edges and I select this and I press X, we can delete parts of it like this. As you can see, what's cool about this is that we can actually get unexpected results, which I think are very nice. You can also select all of them at the same time and just delete them simultaneously. And also guys, here's a cool little hotkey for you. So instead of just left clicking on this, if you want to select all this, this whole loop, you simply hold on Alt and left click. You've got the whole loop right here. You can now press X to delete all of it. Or you can shoot that right there. So. That's this it guys, it's a very fantastic program because it's just fantastic for artists. There's just so many nice accents and results you can get. And it's very easy to undo your results as well. Alright guys, thank you for watching and take care.